Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy and I'm joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life pets, Paige, Molly, Milk Toast, and Polly. I haven't figured out the order. Hey! I gotta I gotta remember to bring my bow and arrows with me uh, from now on. Let's see, do I even have any arrows? I don't have any arrows, Molly. Uh, all right, well, we'll just let that skeleton go, I guess. Uh, hello, guys. How are you today? I feel like I never go up to my bedroom in this series. I should probably make it a point to come home and sleep here at night instead of, like, how lazy am I? I put, like, a bed in the Quonset. Uh, by the way, I'm trying to turn the Quonset into, like, a paw as well. But don't judge me right now because it's not working very well. Uh, that was my first attempt, okay? Uh, maybe, maybe I'll come back here to sleep tonight. Maybe that's a thing that we should do, huh, Molly? Uh, and I'll leave it open so that if you guys want to go up there, you can. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and head down to the art gallery and check out some of the art we've received since the last episode. In episode 193, Reuben Jr. came from the pig pen over to the Quonset. Uh, we started to think about where we're gonna build the dog guard's house that I promised him after he defended us from the skeleton. Uh, and then I also got a valentine from Rex to Georgette, but also Georgette to Wink. All right, so I have been busy, busy, busy doing some uh, demolition work down here. I'm gonna show you, but first we're gonna grab a wolf. Uh, I already have all my building supplies for the dog guard's house. That's what we're working on today, by the way. Uh, but I'll show you the updates to the Quonset. Hello, wolves. Hello, Pipsqueak. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know which wolf we're down to. Who haven't we taken in a while? <gasps> no way! Everyone? Basil? Okay, let me grab the papers. Where did Basil's paper just go? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, Basil, uh, Wink. I didn't even realize that we got everyone's paper. Tucker, come over here. Uh, Everest. Okay, did I pick it up? Yes. And Addison. And Noah. We took everyone. So let's see, Noah, if you get lucky again and you get chosen first this time, uh, because it could be uh, very well. We are going to be taking Everest. I would love to take Everest. Let's go, boy. Uh, let's put your little piece of paper by your bed and let's go. So this is where the majority of the changes uh, that I did off camera have taken place. Uh, as you can see, this is a, uh, well, oh, Everest, we need something. I'm going to try to spawn uh, a redwood tree. Uh, and I'm not even sure if it's going to work. Uh, and I'm not even sure if I have... I should have saplings. Uh, shouldn't I have redwood saplings? Um, am I just not seeing them? I definitely have them somewhere because I... Oh, here they are. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four. All right. And then I'm pretty sure I have bone meal over in the Quonset somewhere. Uh, but basically, I... Oh, Pipsqueak, don't get out, okay? Because ugh, I'm worried about Pipsqueak getting out. Do I have any blocks? No. Um, let's, uh, let's grab these blocks here and build a little... Ugh, how am I going to keep Pipsqueak out? Uh, let's grab two more. Oops, not... A shovel there we go all right uh, pipsqueak you stay in there so I'm changing this up obviously I took down the dog guards break room uh, from the bark uh, and I put the stuff over here in this chest uh, you guys voted and it was very clear I'm sorry to those who voted for the splash pad but the overwhelming uh, majority was that you wanted me to carve the house into this hill so that's what we are going to do and in preparation for that oh hello Nutella um, I kind of did a little bit of terraforming over here and I ended up I like the direction that this is going right because you can get down to the house somehow I haven't figured that out but then you also have this path now uh, over here which I think is quite nice uh, how nice is this Everest there's been a duck over here for the longest time, 
and I have absolutely no idea where it is. Uh, but anyway, you'll be able to come over here and get down into the house somehow. We have to build something here. And then you'll also be able to come this way. But I have this weird wood, like dirt corner here. And usually when I have dirt corners like this, I plant a tree. Because otherwise it would be very impossible to like terraform it all the way up. I would end up taking a huge chunk of this mountain. And I really don't want to change dog graph that much. What I want to do is obviously soften that hard corner. Uh, build the house into this thing here. I've always wanted to do something with that corner over there. We're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming here. Um, but for the most part, the inside of the Quonset, Ruben Jr. is still here. It's so weird. Uh, the inside of the Quonset is looking great. I'm so surprised now by how much space that we have. Like just when it was seeming like we were at max capacity of dogs, all I did was move out the livestock, and now I've got all those dogs up there. I've got all this room for dogs here. Uh, I ended up putting the horses in here because I think I'm going to put them somewhere else. So this is the daycare side. We've got pens that we can build over here. Like I already put Nutella's bed and food in there. What do you think, dog guard? You're getting a house today. What do you think about Addison? Addison, why are you here? That keeps happening with these wolves sometimes where all of a sudden they just teleport to me but sitting it's very strange oh oh no that's droplet and splat out there i was gonna say i thought that they all teleported over here uh okay bone meal that's what i need uh bone meal i should have some oh did i just have it in my backpack the whole time uh i also need here it is um I'll take a few more bones, just in case that's not enough. I also need some dyes, which I actually think are in my backpack. I need yellow and green. Oh, lime. That's what I need. Lime and yellow. Uh, can I make more lime uh, like this? I should be able to, right? There we go. That should be fine. And now... Look at the look at cinnamon toast and Joey. Uh, let's go try to spawn the redwood tree. I'm not sure it's gonna work. Uh, I have to. Oh, by the way, I found a bunch of baked potatoes in my backpack. Um, ooh, the sun is going down soon. I think we're going home to sleep today, uh, and then we're gonna have to have a full work, a full day's work of uh, of what am I trying to say? A full day of work on the dog guard's house. Uh, but let's see if we can make. I don't know where I want to put it. Like I kind of want to. I kind of want to dig it down a little bit, I think. If this is the level, I kind of think it would be cool for it to be on the level of my house. Uh, but the, the tree, if it grows, is going to make it very, very shady uh, down here. So is this the right level? Yeah, this is the level. So here we go. I don't think this is going to work. I think it needs more space. Well, it's definitely not going to work with Addison and Everest there. Come here, guys. Come over here, please. It's getting nighttime, so we really have to be quick about this because we don't want a creeper coming down here. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four. Is this in the corner? Yeah, it's in the corner. Uh, okay, please grow. Please grow. Go! Oh! oh, it did it. It did it. Oh, that's so cool. That looks so perfect. <gasps> that is so honestly fantastic. I didn't even know I wanted a redwood tree there so badly. Uh, okay. Let's hurry and go to bed uh, because I don't even want to. Here, I'm going to just like put this up here. But technically that means a zombie could get in. So we need to be really quick about this and get upstairs and sleep as quickly as we can. Uh, so that we don't come downstairs and find a creeper uh, in our house. And it's taking me so long to get to the, the upstairs of my, why do I have my house on like the, or my bed on like the fifth floor. Uh, okay, good night guys. Oh, look at the beautiful sunset. Uh, okay, and are any of my dogs up here to sleep? No. Good night, guys. <laughs> I will be the one to sleep. And then I kind of want to go check out that redwood tree. Uh, and I also need to probably pick a few more flowers, actually. And I think that there are some on that hill uh, that the redwood tree is on. So that's what I'm going to do. Shut the door. Let's go out the front door. Addison? Everest you guys did I leave you sitting um whoa look at the look at the redwood tree back there now and look we can take this path now 
This is so cool. So I still have to figure out... Where are my wolves? I still have to figure out how I'm going to kind of like do the entrance down here. Did I leave you guys sitting? I'm so sorry. Did you have a nice restful sleep? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I love this. I'm loving this. I just have to massage this and figure out what kind of doors I'm going to put on and what the entrance is going to be and how the stairs come down uh, from here and how the stairs go up from there uh, and all that jazz. But let's go ahead and come up. Can we make it up here? I think so. We're lagging all around. Uh, because we still haven't set up our new computer. I believe there are some flowers. Yep, back here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is exactly what we need. I need a few yellow ones, I think. Uh, actually, I have four yellow dye. What we really need are these guys. This is going to be central to the design of the dog guard's house. So in this episode today, I'm going to work on the exterior of the house and get that started. Uh, but on Wednesday's episode uh, is probably, unless I don't finish the exterior today, which could easily happen, uh, but Wednesday's episode or next Saturday's episode after that will be interior decorating uh, of the house. Do I have a water bucket on me? No, I do not. But I'm going to need a water bucket. Let's drink the milk. And then, oh, look at the redwood tree. Look how it spawned up here. That is so interesting. Oh, I love it. I think that was a great idea. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's come down carefully. And now what I want to do is I want to kind of show you guys what I'm working with for the dog guard's house. So the idea is to kind of do, uh, there's his bed and his stuff. Um, let's see, let's make, we're going to make some yellow hardened clay. Uh, thank goodness I found that Mesa. I think one of my dogs is crying in real life. But it might just be Molly having a dream. Uh, yellow and then some lime. Uh, I'm just going to do that for now. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys who's crying. It's Milk Toast playing with her. I, I got Milk Toast. I got him this toy that is a bird that actually chirps and he's obsessed with it and I shouldn't have got him it because now all night that's why milk toast sleeps in the living room so then green 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 and then the doors this is my dog guard cabin vision board Everest and then also grass I shouldn't have done that, <laughs> uh, but I'm proving the point. Grass and poppies. This is the, oh, these are cute flowers. What are <gasps> oh my gosh, I got one of the tiny cactuses. Oh my gosh, how did it even spawn here? These, do you guys remember when I got, um, who was the first? Everest, who was the first chihuahua that I ever got? Not Pixel, not Lulu. Uh oh, here's Skeleton. Why do I hear Skeleton? Lulu. When we got Lulu, uh, there was a, a biome that had those tiny cactuses, and I didn't get enough, and I never thought I'd get one again, and I got one from Bone Meal. That's so fun. Uh, maybe I can plant it somewhere here in the dog guard's house. But anyway, poppies. Let's uh, get some of this grass off. This is the vision board. This is exactly the vision board for the dog guard's cottage. Let's, do I have a, oh, here. Hey, can you come out here, actually? I don't think I have a lead on me. I should have a dog leash on me. Do you see his colors that he has? Do you see how, like, they're the same colors like the light and the and the uh the pinkish tan and then the green and the yellow um anyway so we're gonna i don't even know how to do this guys i really don't even know i think it's kind of the, th the thing where i just have to like jump in uh and it'll eventually work itself out so let's start with the doors um so basically, and then on the top of the house is going to be actually like the grass with the, the poppies and such. So let's start, I guess, with the entrance to the house. 
I have no idea what I'm about to do, guys. Uh, I just know that the entrance has to be somewhat large because the dog guard is large. Um, hmm. I'm going to set it back one, I think, so that I have room to terraform. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. No idea. Um, let's see. Like, uh... Noah, what am I doing? I just have to I just have to start. If I don't start somewhere, then it'll for sure never get built. So I just have to start doing stuff and then if I don't like it, I can undo it. But I have to I have to do something. Okay. There we go. Shovel. Okay. It's starting to the doorway is starting to take shape. Okay. And then let's put down the doors. So if we leave a gap above it, then Dog Guard will be able to get through. So then let's just do that. And then I guess let's go down and look at what we've, look at the beginning of it. And then maybe we can start to visualize the cottage. Oh my gosh, this is going to be nuts. Uh, I got to do a pathway up to it too. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and speed it up and start working on the cottage. Okay, so it is starting to come together. I'm really liking uh, the direction that it's taking. I'm using the bald cypress, which I think ties in uh, the sandstone and the doors really well. I added the little poppies. I need the grass to hurry and grow, uh, but I'm going to now skip ahead because I'm going to do some work uh, off camera. I'm going to build a roof uh, and I don't want to fast forward anymore. So I'll be right back uh, with some more work on the dog guard's house. Okay, so are you ready to see the dog guard's cottage? It's not finished, but I think you will have a pretty good idea of the direction that I'm going with it. All of the dogs teleported to me while I was building. All right, close your eyes and open them in three, two, one. Open. Oh, wait, I forgot to shut the doors. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me just shut the doors really quick so you get the full effect. Although you won't get the full effect because you'll see like stone through the top of the door. Uh, which won't be there uh, because I have to do the interior decorating still. But look at it! Um, it's Like I said, it's a work in progress because uh, the vines still need to grow on either side. And then I also want to uh, bring the out uh, the inside out here so there's like a window here uh, so he can like look into the bark. I think that's going to be perfect. 
Uh, but I want to get the... Where's the zombie? There's a zombie underneath here somehow. Um, I want to get a window here somehow so he can look into the bark uh, from his home. Look at this. I am so happy with how it turned out. Uh, and I think it's going to have to be a little bit bigger than this uh, for what I want to build inside. So we'll extend it this way. We might even extend it. Uh, we can extend it a lot that way uh, or even that way, really. Um, what do you think, Everest? I think it turned out fantastic. Do I have... Where were those... I bet that this can only be planted in sand. Okay. I stand corrected. Uh, okay. Um, weren't, didn't I have like a, oh, I know where they were. There were yellow flowers, uh, over here that spawned, uh, that need to not be on the agility course and they can just go like, um, I guess like there. I put bone meal up at the top, which I think looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, I think it, it might add, like I might add a few more things, like there might be like a wood column that I add, like, uh, you know, maybe over on that side or something to kind of like finish that off, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. Like this is crazy. Every time I add something to my world, I'm going to get emotional here about dog craft. I'm just so happy because every time I add something to the world, I'm nervous about it. Like, oh no, is this going to be the thing that I add that I think like, oh, now dog craft looks weird. And when I add things, it's like they're all different and unique. And this is special because it's the dog guard's house. Uh, and it's right here where it's meant to be. I can't believe it was never here before. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I'm getting so mushy about my own Minecraft series. That's a little... It's a little silly. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dogcraft. Um, we're going to go ahead and start uh, on the interior soon. And then we have to show it to the dog guard. He hasn't come over here because the, the gate has been closed. Uh, so he hasn't seen it. Uh, but I think he's going to love it. Uh, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. But until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.